This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's explore the use of functions within our formula fields. Firstly, we will look at a number of functions that allow us to manipulate strings as they stand. We will start with a basic listing report, which is available in your working folder, and create a new formula field. This formula field is going to stick together the initial of the first name and then the surname. So let's call it whole name. In order to extract the first letter of the first name, we need a function called left open brackets. Now function names in crystal reports are not case sensitive, so you can type them in uppercase or lowercase. You will find that inside the formula workshop, they go blue when they are recognized. So you know you have a function when you type something in, whether it's the one you want is a different matter. Now the left function requires two options. It requires the field to deal with, which in our case is the first name field, then a comma, and then a number, and then close brackets. This number, in our case one, indicates how many letters from the left hand side of this field here we require. One checks if I have the syntax correct. It's as happy as Larry. Then we will concatenate. So we will stick on to the back of there a space and the surname. So we're asking for the first character of the first name field, then a space, then the surname, the whole surname. Save and close. So there's our new little field whole name. In design, we will remove the first name and the surname fields, bring down the whole name field, tidy up the label, so format paint it, select the pair of them, align tops, size, same height, just leave that as name. So in preview, I see the first initial and the surname, and that works all the way through the report. So that gives us one possible function, left. There are plenty of others. Perhaps we would like the county field to always be displayed in uppercase, regardless of how it's been typed in. We can control that new formula field. Call it uppercase county. Now to control the case, we either know what the function is, or we can start looking down the function section here to see if we can find the function we're after. So I expand out the function list. I know it's a string function I'm interested in, so we can expand that section out. I know uppercase normally begins with a u, and there's the function uppercase. Give that a double click, and the function drops into the bottom with the required brackets. I can see in the function window how many parts it requires, and all it requires is a string. So a field that is a string, and it will change into uppercase. So I then need in here my county field, making sure that the whole field drops between the open and the close round brackets. Save and close. And in design, I can throw away the normal county field and use my uppercase county field. Again, the label will need tidying up to match the format on here. Align tops, size, same height. Remove the extra little bit so it just says county. And preview, I now have the counties in uppercase. There are a number of case controlling functions. If we revisit that formula, we can see in here we have the uppercase to force whatever is placed in brackets into uppercase. We have lowercase, so to force whatever is in brackets into lowercase. And we have proper case, which is sometimes referred to as title case, where the first letter of the word will be in uppercase, but the rest in lowercase. So you have three case functions to effectively change the case of whatever is stored in the database which helps with presentation and consistency. Change that to uppercase, use the left string there. Another formula field 
maybe we are interested in the first character of the marital status. Marital status, single character. So I need my little left function, which if I take it from the formula list, you can see explains that you need a string and the length you're asking for. Double click, drops that to the bottom with the cursor flashing in the place, waiting for the marital status field. And then how many characters? Just one. Save and close. Design. I can drop that new field into place. Rename the label first this time for a change. And then tidy it up. Line tops. Size. Same height. And then my marital status is indicated by three characters in this particular database. Now both that formula and that formula use the left function, which we can see from in there. But you can take characters from any side or even in the middle of a word using left for obviously the left hand side. Right for a number of characters from the right hand side. So it's right, whatever string, how many characters mid for a number of characters that is in the middle of a string so we have mid if you give it a string value and where to start from it will take the number of characters until the end now mid string start and length tells it where to start and how many characters to take now that and certainly the right work well with a little function called length that tells you how long a string is so we could create a new formula um, name length. If we use the length function, we can work out how long somebody's surname is by placing that into the open brackets, close brackets of the length function. Save and close. And we'll place that just in that little space left there. Bit of tidying required on that label again. Stick a space between name and length, it will wrap in the right place. The formatting of that field is achieved the same as before. Right click, format field. And I'm interested in one of the options that doesn't show a decimal place. I now have number of characters, so I can see how long people's names are. 10 characters, 7 characters, 6 characters, 5 characters. So you can see the string functions can actually prove quite useful to chop off the left hand side of characters, chop off the right hand side of characters change the case of a data field, chop characters out the middle, find out how long a data field is, which can then be used inside other functions to make manipulative changes, and so on and wherefore. You will find in future modules that we use some of these strings to chop characters about to produce the result that we are after.